So my uh, second question would be that we as kids are, we, we don't limit our imaginations. We are sometimes daydreaming and we build up scenarios in our heads which may or may not be true. But what was the biggest lie that you, were, you once believed to be true and would you like it still to be true or not? And this question would go to Lily. Madam Table Topics, fellow Toastmasters, honoured guests. I don't remember the exact wording of your question. What came into my mind as you were talking was when I was a little girl, I used to go to school, I had to walk across the creek, it was about a mile and a half away. And my mother was often concerned for me when I came home a little bit late. And one time, when on my way home, instead of walking straight along the path that took me home, I went further along the creek. And there were big rocks, and there, were, there was tall grass and lots of plants. And it was such an exciting environment and atmosphere. And there were rose hips. And I started collecting the rose hips and beading them together and I made a, a chain. And I thought I would make this piece of jewellery for my mother. I came home an hour late. My mother was not happy. She was furious. She did not appreciate this piece of jewellery I had made for her. And a short time later we had visitors and I took the daughter of our friends for a walk and showed her this area around the creek. And I saw it from her point of view, and the grass was so tall, it was endless, it was like a desert. She did not believe there was anything at the other end, that we would be walking forever and get lost. What do I wish? Well, sometimes I think back to my childhood in Australia, that creek, that warmth, that sunshine, walking across <laughs> the creek, being outside. That's what I wish sometimes that was that I could still have, that I could still experience. And I appreciate the present time and recognise how important it is to be mindful of where I am and what I'm doing and what I have. So my greatest appreciation is that I had that experience, that I can remember it. And that picture is captured forever in my own mind. Madam Fed. That was a really interesting and imaginative experience that you shared with us. And I think all of us, we like to daydream as kids. And if we continue it in our adulthood or youth as well, I think it can be very positive. It will allow us to achieve our aims.